G'day, Steve Morgan here, Australian Bass Tournaments. We have just finished the Gladstone duo round of the Daiwa Brim Series, but it looks like the Queensland Open interview. Chris Lonnie, first place again, mate. I don't know how many tournaments you've won this year, but I reckon you need more than a hand to count them. Yeah, I don't know. I'm waiting for this wave that I'm riding to just crash. Um, but so far, it just yeah, keeps rolling. So, is this, your, uh, is this your first time you've done an ABT event in Gladstone? Yeah, first ABT in Gladstone, yep. But you snuck up, you said during the presentation a few weeks ago, just to make sure you got the lay of the land. It's quite a large and diverse arena, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's massive. I, yeah, I just wanted to get my head around all the different bits of rock and stuff. Yep. Um, and yeah, it was had, had a good, good pre-fish that weekend. Um, and then, yeah, sort of came to fruition this weekend as well. Tell us, uh, we catch two sorts of brim in this arena. We catch the yellowfin brim, like we get from here south, and we also catch the pikey brim, which are like the northern tropical version. They look a bit like a cross between a yellowfin and a sooty grunter. What did your bags consist of, pikeys or yellowfin? No, 100% yellowfin. Um, I think the only pikeys I caught this weekend were on prefish, um, and I just couldn't find any real quantity or consistency with them, so I, yeah, just went to some... Stuck to the yellow. Yeah, stuck to the yellow, stuck, stuck to something I know. Take us through your tactics for the two days and how both of the days panned out. Um, it's, uh, did you fish the same place both days or did you have something in reserve for if uh, the day one spots got fished out? Um, I actually actually stumbled upon that reef down at the Boyne. Um, it was like my last spot on pre-fish. I caught a few pretty quick there and they were, they were milking. Um, so I thought that may play. But the, the initial plan was just to sit out at Rat for two days and just yep. try and grind out some some fish but um after the first day like i went down to that reef straight up and it was way better than i'd anticipated um and then so i I still went up to rat um like i'd planned but i didn't realize how many boats were going to be on it there was like five or six boats on it um and i only got one upgrade there so i decided i'm just going to stick it out on the Boyne reef um today yeah um, and for the people that don't know, the Boyne is at the very southernmost extremity of the arena. So it's probably, what, about a, maybe a 10k drive down there and then a bit of a hairy uh, channel yeah, inside. It's yeah, not real yeah. wide, is it? No, narrow. Very, very narrow, especially at low tide. Yep. Um, take us through the techniques you use down at that reef. I, I think I know the one you're talking about. It's a gnarly reef right in the middle. If you didn't know it was there, you'd, it'd cost you a hole in your boat. That's the one. That's the one, yeah. It's... Um it's yeah it's some massive rock just covered in oysters and then yeah some really big deep channels um running through it at different places and other spots where the water can like like, where where the water flows through yeah which are bigger channels um and yeah and i just at at the start of the day i just ran crankbaits over it and crankbaits worked really really well yesterday morning um and then when those bigger channels when the tide started filling I, i started fishing like the big rocks and the deeper channels and catching them, catching them deep on just on one eighth rigged um, bait junkie grubs in motor oil and and uh, Z-Man grubs as well. Sorry. Take us through the outfit then. Uh, you were fishing the deep plastics on. Uh, we think this is like the ABT sponsors' dream. It's a Miller rods, bait junkie, TT jig head, and uh, dial reel. Tell me, it's an ABT sponsor braid on there. No, well, it's atomic bait actually. Yeah, yeah so yeah, 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 there we go. Yeah, that's so it. You've yeah. got the got the full house there. Uh, take us through this outfit. It's light in the hand. Ah uh, yeah, it's it's a uh, the the brawler yeah it just it works really well for um for this kind of structure like you you hook them and you just I just I was just going hard on them the yep. whole way um and just not trying to give them an inch because the the structure's like it's super gnarly yep. super gnarly and take us through what what strength line and leader do you have on it uh, and take us through the specifics of the uh, the plastic um so it's heavily it's a heavily underspooled sole at the moment <laughs> um but it's 10 pound atomic braid and then um eight pound um rock fc leader yeah um it's another abt sponsor is it sweet yep. ticking all the boxes <laughs> um and then yeah this this is a one sixth but i didn't really run that too much it was a one eighth um one eight yep. tt jig head most of the time and that color has won a lot of tournaments around the country yeah yeah that that color works awesome um really match the bait profile but um also I, I alternated the colors a fair bit as well i was running blood worms and yep. a bunch of camo uv like just yeah just rotating just rotating so that i think it's sick of seeing the same thing exactly yep yep tell us uh your crankbait pattern you've got a crankbait stash in your hand there what's that fella uh it's just a uh deep jackal chubby yep let's get it down there and uh and that's also a color which has uh won a lot of money for people over the years yeah you can't you can't go past the old brown suji 
Um, you've qualified for the grand final now. This is all chump change, all this these small tournaments you're winning compared to the grand final. That uh, event, we give away an alloy craft boat, 60 horsepower Merc on the back, fully rigged up. I'm pretty sure it's all with all the Garmin gear this year. It's got a live scope, a force. Got everything on it, mate. Uh, you're going to be a, a big game player in that one down at Port Stephens. Have you ever been there before? Never been there, and um, traditionally I don't fish well in New South Wales, but uh, who knows? <laughs> we'll, we'll give it a shot. <laughs> I would be riding all of that form all the way to the bank this year, mate. Congratulations. You've qualified for the grand final there instantly. You don't have to do it with AOY points, so that's, uh, that's a, a weight off your mind now. Uh, any of your uh, supporters you want to thank? Um, just, uh, well, you guys for running the comps, obviously, again. Um, and, yeah, the missus at home. She's, yeah, she does. Good gives job. you the tickets. Yeah, it gives me the tickets. That's exactly right. Yeah. Well, Don't you keep on the money. Keep on, <laughs> keep on bringing checks home, mate. That's uh, two thousand dollars plus the first place Mercury bonus. So two thousand two hundred and fifty bucks for this event, added to the five grand for last event, mate. Uh, she'll be kicking you out the door to go to the next tournament. Happy days. Yeah, it might be a pass for the next year, so that's good. <laughs> there you go. Well, well, there we go. Winner the duo round for the Daiwa Brim Series here in Gladstone, Chris Lonnie.